Hi, I'm Dino Cazares. Most of you know me from Fear Factory, Divine Heresy, Asesino, and Brujeria. We are here today at NAMM 2019, and I'm here at the Ornsby Guitar Booth showing off my new signature series guitar. It's the Blood Red Camo paint job, mahogany body, 27 and a half scale on the top, 26 and a half scale neck on the bottom, three piece neck, two, two piece maple, one piece bobinga. It's got some carbon fiber inside the neck for a stiffer, stronger uh, neck so it doesn't move. I decided to put the truss rod adjustment down here. I love it because you don't have to take any string covers off. Very thin neck profile, built for fast picking, shredding, whatever you want to call it, fast rhythm. Um, I really like it thin. One, I've been doing it for many, many years. And the reason is I have smaller hands as well. And so over the years, I found out that, you know, the thinner neck profiles are better for uh, picking because it doesn't have to extend my thumb further out. There's a lot of guitars, they're thin on the top and they tape around to the bottom. This is the same all the way down. Same width all the way down. So it's super thin, ready to go. I also have my little top of the fret markers here. I like them big because when I play live, when the lights go out, you want to see where the fuck you're at when you're starting a song so you can see that. Uh, it's just years of shredding, you know, playing guitar live, just years, different things that you learn. I love the more flush mount uh, input jack. It's great because when you plug it in, it goes straight up the strap. My, my cable for my wireless goes straight up the strap. And uh, one of the reasons why I chose Ormsby is I feel they're on the definitely one of the one of the best companies that are on the cutting edge of making new stuff in the multi-scale. Taking it far. I love it. We're calling this one the Blood Red Camo for the moment. Uh, but we're definitely going to be giving names to all the guitars and we're going to be coming up with cool shit. But this is pretty much what you're going to get. There might be a few little minor features. Maybe a different pickup. Different pickup uh, designed by Seymour Duncan. Right now this is just a standard, but we're going to do, design something else for it. And these are pretty much going to be available pretty soon. And another thing too, because you mentioned it earlier, a lot of people ask me about this little thing. I hate, I hate when people put hair ties or the other, other stuff that they put on top, sweatbands. Um, but way, way, way back, 90, about 92, 93, I started putting foam underneath my pickups. But certain foams get crunchy and then they fall apart and they don't really do, your, do the job well. But this foam here is, uh, is the foam that goes underneath your pickups and it's a better foam. And it's here and it, and it cuts all the noise and it's more discreet, you know what I mean? I, like I said, I hate those big old scrunchy hair ties people put there. But anyways, that's just my little trick. I'm Dino Cazares. I'm going to say goodbye, but before I say goodbye, I want to say check out my new band called The Clutes. It's an industrial project. Got a new Asesino coming out. Uh, extreme Death Metal in Spanish will be coming out. And future other projects. Also check out my guitar on OrangeBeeGuitars.com. There'll be